I would like to show you a design for an 8-bit parallel to serial encoder and decoder. Anything which happens to any of these 8 switches here, so red on, yellow on, and send, gets reflected down here. Red on, yellow on. Now, wiring up eight uh, pistons to eight switches is pretty straightforward. All you need is eight bits of redstone wire. In our case, we're only using one. This parallel serial encoder will encode the position of our eight switches into a series of uh, redstone flashes or a serial data stream if you're so inclined. And the decoder over here will convert that data stream back into eight different uh, switch positions. To build your encoder, first put down three lines of sandstone 19 blocks long. Each line is separated from the other by three blocks. On our left here, where the colour-coded wool is, we're going to put our inputs from our switches, and on the right, we're putting in a delay line. Each delay element is made up from a redstone repeater, and set to two ticks. That way, any signal that comes into it will take two ticks to move on to the next one. For our 8-bit example here, we have 9 repeaters. Now this is uh, designed as completely scalable, you can make it bigger or smaller as you desire. On the middle, we're going to put in a pulse generator. and by a strange coincidence it's going to produce a pulse of two ticks um, duration. And to do that, ensure that this repeater here is set to two ticks. eventually. Now for a small bit of theory. I've added in this uh, line of redstone repeaters so we can see what I'm talking about. If I link up this pulse generator to the delay line and fire it off, we can see a single pulse, two ticks width, travelling up that line. Now, depending on uh, what links I make into the delay line, depends on what pulse code I'm now sending out of it. Since I'm only inserting a two tick width pulse, into a delay line which is set to two ticks. I'm not going to uh, smear any of the signal passed on from the previous delay element. And there you have two pulses, each two pulse, sorry, two ticks width. Now, putting in uh, Redstone repeaters to link it up is all well and good, but uh, you'd have to rip them up every time you want to change the code. So in that case, if we convert our uh, repeaters into latches like so, anytime I energize this orange block here, 
I can prevent the pulse traveling through so this is essentially a zero and every time it's not energized that pulse will pass through and that becomes a one so it's now essentially programmable and if I wire up a switch we can see that I can turn it on and off at will while you weren't watching I've gone ahead and uh, put in now other three latches and wired them up to these switches over here they're all pretty much the same construction as the first latch that I've shown you now one thing to be very mindful of is if you're building more than a few bits your uh, pulse generator signal won't actually reach all of the bits so I'm going to stick in a uh, repeater this is just one tick and since I've added a tick essentially delaying these bits up here I need to take it away so that sets one tick to compensate for this additional delay um, this is half of your encoder the other half is uh, up here like so latch will get wired over to our blue switch have to go over our uh, pulse line here make sure we don't cut the signal off and wire it up and that's one of the upper four latches I'll just go ahead and put in the other three like so um, clean up our front and that's the completed design now to test it if I put in a code we know that our start bits going to be high so if I go low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high we should now see nine bits, five of them which are illuminated and there they are, kind of confusing if I just slow this down to two, two ticks each it's a bit more understandable and there's our five pulses or more importantly there's our nine pulses and there's no gap between each of the pulses so I can completely configure what my pulse stream looks like just by setting my switches the decoder 
to build an 8-bit decoder, put in two lines of sandstone, 17 blocks long and 19 blocks long, separated by four blocks. Our eight outputs placed here. We're going to be using lamps in this case. I've put color-coded wool in so uh, it matches the in encoder. And our delay line here, there are eight elements, each made from redstone repeaters with a two tick delay. Make sure the output of each of your delay elements lines up with your outputs. And down at the bottom, in line with the last output, five blocks of blue wool. Those five blocks at the start of the uh, start pulse capture circuit. Now, you don't have to use lamps as your output. You can uh, send your redstone to control anything you want. a little bit of theory. You see this pulse that comes in? Think of that as the start pulse. Each of these delay elements captures one of the bits of our 8-bit uh, code that we're serially sending. When our start pulse gets to the end, we latch and hold all of the outputs of the individual delay elements. Our latches go in like so. And since they're all being controlled essentially from the one point, we can simplify things um, and reduce our wiring like so. Don't forget the redstone. four latches. And don't forget the redstone. I was watching to see if the lamps lit up and um, they do now. These latch enable signals um, when they're enabled, they will hold whatever is on this side of the latch so it remains stable to be presented to the output. And we connect them up under our delay line. So, our upper latches are very similar,
share a common latch enable signal. hooked up. We should see our eight lights light up. All good. To hook up all of your latch enable signals, I'll just put it in the top. Don't cut off your redstone. So whenever this green line here is energized, our latches are going to hold. And at this point, which is pretty much equidistant from every latch, we put in a driver, a redstone repeater. So, now to detect the start bit, come over to here and we put in an inverter. And this is our inverter here. That way, whenever our start bit comes through, it will essentially um, disable all of our latches, allowing them to copy whatever is on the delay line to the output. Now, to prevent other bits in the data stream doing exactly the same thing, we put in a pulse lengthener. So this line will be held high, preventing uh, the data essentially being scrambled. Now, take note first one is set to 3, the others are set to 4. And that is the decoder. We can test to see that everything is working. by giving it a signal. So, say zero, 0101 and we'll see what happens. And 0101, zero one, everything seems to be fine. So that's the 8-bit parallel to serial encoder and decoder. Thank you for watching.